Fade me in, baby. Okay. Hey, everybody. Hi. So we have a little bit different setup tonight. Yeah. We've changed the lighting quite a bit. Yes. We also are tonight doing something a whole lot different, which is the fact that we are changing the trajectory of how we're doing our podcast tonight. So we're live on Instagram. We're also live on TikTok. Hey, TikTok. Hi, Instagram. Hey, Instagram. What's up? Took my me just watching. And we're up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi. On the main stage. Hi. And we redid our mic setup. Yeah. And I like it. Yes. Do you like it? Uh, I'm undecided. Okay. Well, you don't have to fight the stand from falling over. Right. Which is nice. Which is nice. Guys, there's been a lot of trials and tribulations through this whole process. What is this? Like, Stop that. <laughs> Stop. I can't help it. That's why I like wearing a hoodie or baggy clothing when we record. Well, you turn the fan off. And you turn the other fan off. Oh, I did, didn't I? Would you like me to get up and turn that stuff I on? I can do that. No, I can. You uh, you keep our audience alive. I keep the audience alive? Yeah. they Like CPR? Well, they need to be resuscitated? Well, they love you. They do. They love you because you're yeah. his, freaking his, his, sexy. How many people? How many people watching are actually CPR certified and have taken a CPR class? Ever, like CPR. So it's uh, staying alive, staying alive, da 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 da, staying alive, staying alive. That's the rhythm of which you should CPR. If you don't know, uh, highly recommend going out and getting your CPR class. And now I just learned this. My kiddo, who's getting close to graduating, one of the requ- I- oh, it's hard because I'm talking in my ear holes. Um, one of the things that I like just now became aware of is that uh, in the state of Texas, at least where we are, you need CPR training to graduate, which is really freaking cool. I think. Um, oh, I don't know. It's just on. I mean, uh, uh, that one's not going to say. Well, we got six on TikTok. Yeah. My phone looks super blurry compared to yours. What is that? Swipe do? right for what? I don't know. For comments. Oh, there you go. Sweet. So it takes up more of the screen so you can actually see them. Perfect. Yeah. They're, they're not our full focus. They are just an extra add-on. They are. Our focus is our podcast. Our, Correct. Our stuff. Our you guys just get to join. Yeah. I f- Would it bother you if I worked on my blanket? What's that? Would it bother you if I worked on my blanket? It never bothers me for you to work on your blanket. Okay. So, cool fact. Jen crochets. So, if anybody oh, else sorry. crochets, let us know. Also, if anybody is in need of something to keep them warm (laughs) or something to provide comfort just provide comfort in that fact yeah reach out absolutely these things are freaking awesome look check this out i got it i love him so much because he's my biggest cheerleader you guys this happens in i don't know an hour yeah that was an hour and a half yesterday check it out yeah check it out Check it out, check it out. Yeah, check it out from all angles. <laughs> I like it because it's starting to get to the size of, um, like, it's becoming, like, blanket size for when I, like. And nice. this is not even the typical, like. Where am I going? Which direction am I going? Here we go. It's not the typical blanket, really, design. Mm. Usually it's a lot tighter. Like, there's a, the holes aren't. Yeah, this so is a very apart. it's a very loose stitch. But I like it. It's very yeah, soft. It is very soft. It's a never ending granny square. So what did you do today, honey? Today's Saturday, right? Um Today is well, today is now Sunday. Yeah. Uh well I haven't slept yet, so it's still Saturday. Uh I 
did two podcasts. Somebody wants oh, to oh yeah. Hey, what's up? This is weird. Um, they can stay on as long as uh, they're appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I did two podcasts today, and then once I did two pod, looks good. Never mind. Uh, did two podcasts, and then we took a kid out to the grocery store. That's an underage person that you think. How do I exit it? Do you know how? Uh, Hello. I don't know how you. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, I did two podcasts. That was really cool. I think it's actually one of them's actually already published. Took a kid to the grocery store. Bro, I made you dinner. I don't know. Just been off today. You did a lot today, actually. So tell us about the podcast you did today. It was just with two aw- two other awesome creators, Joe and Chris, uh, talking about uh, influence marketing, user-generated content, how brands should lean in more to user-generated content and that type of stuff instead of paying for maybe like big buck big buck uh professional shot stuff go with like a lower like go with like a lower in, lower cost to entry type thing instead of thinking oh i've got to spend 20 something thousand dollars or forty thousand dollars to shoot all of this massive content or high expensive content right. when really you can just use user generated content and you'd probably be better off because people are more apt to stop and watch an advertisement because they don't realize it's an advertisement, right? They think yep. it's someone who's like legit loved this product for a long time or whatever. So you'd be better off finding a micro influencer myself or Chris, for instance, Chris considers himself a micro influencer. I'm not branding him that way. He was saying that people should pick a micro influencer and that would be a great entry for a lot of brands instead of being like, oh, well, I need whatever, uh, a $40,000 commercial because, you know, creating all of this content for yourself to distribute, is that really going to be beneficial? Because you can only create so much content, but if you are paying micro influencers, then you're, then you are creating content for you. Your micro influencer is creating content for you. Yeah. So it's like you're, you're getting way more bang for your buck than when you Do would they publish it for you. What your micro influencers. Yeah. Yeah. De- well, it depends on the contract. Okay. So where do we find these people? Are any of you, these people, and if you are, send us a message. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you can send us a message on TikTok, but you can email you us can, at us do. at everydaymomentsforus.com. Yeah, you can do, um, yeah, you can, you can do messages on TikTok, I think. So. That's what it was talking about. Yeah. And then like, you know, Amazon influencers and things like that and just. So how do you, how do you feel after. The whole podcast today um i don't know i feel less than they are so smart and so much further ahead and are making really like i feel like they're making huge gains and i feel like i'm just treading water no we have to be consistent consistency will take us yeah which is which is why i am and chris said the exact same thing to me during either i can't remember if it was during the recording or whatever but or after because we sat and talked for a little bit after until his camera died but it was like talking about how um he was like yeah he's like you're you're doing it like you're doing the grind you're showing up you're doing amazing things and you just keep doing it like keep oh and we're on apple i'm really excited about the apple thing you should be you did that that's all you honey I know, but like you can go and hit the Apple podcast on your phone yeah. and, look and listen us to up, everything. Look us up. Yeah. And I'm in the process of loading every episode, but right now there's probably, I already guess, at least eight hours of content loaded. 
Oh yeah, how many episodes of just? I mean, we're, we have a lot more. I'm videos. up to episode six. Okay, and how many episodes do we have of our podcast? Approximately fifty three. Okay, fifty three. Okay. I have a lo- a long ways to go. It's a lot to yeah. do because you have to. Here's the deal. Like this is not by any stretch of the mind an easy task to do to take this all right this this part's easy oh sitting down and hanging out with you this part i mean we can do this all day long we can do this with contractors we can do this with content creators we can do this with whoever we can do this part all day long yeah this is the easiest part right Right. um the behind the scenes setting up lighting setting up cameras changing scenes moving stuff tearing down moving yeah so for my podcast so for my podcast that i did today i had to completely reconfigure the set because the person that i was on the podcast with wanted a very specific shot and And they were on a different streaming a different streaming platform yeah which i'm gonna say this right now i don't like that streaming platform at all it lags it has certain audio issues and i very much appreciate the one that we currently have yes and so i'm going to drop that one are you i am i need to pull the content out of it okay and download it okay so probably work on just pulling all of that out tomorrow okay and just putting it somewhere because i don't even know that i've posted it anywhere really and i know that i have i think we have like four to six episodes just in in that one yeah so i goofed on this blanket and i thought i was going to be able to correct the issue because i have made goofs and blankets in the past but i'm gonna have to it's it's gotta i have to restart this because no we don't get high but thanks for asking not thanks for asking <laughs> lord people of tiktok are a different breed yes <laughs> i'm i'm surprised that we don't have um usually we get the pineapple the people. Pine- people. are y'all pineapple people are you pineapple people no yeah pineapple people we I, i've got a pineapple in the kitchen and if you want to see it <laughs> <laughs> i think we have two right now we need to eat one actually my favorite thing that that you do with pineapples grill it for me on what the in the hell are you doing i told you i gotta rip it out i made a goof like how far back i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go you gotta go yeah i gotta go back so if you haven't had liquid death i uh strongly recommend it it's probably the best water that I've ever had. Really? Yeah. And we have a subscription to Sparklets. I'm so frustrated with that company right I'm not, now. I'm not going to talk about this, that, that situation. But we have a subscription to Sparklets. And I still buy this by the case. Because I would rather drink this. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to like water out of a can. But this tastes so good. And it, it stays cold. It's like ice cold, like yeah. the way that I like it. Yeah. And so, like, even in this podcast, I have two sitting next to me. If I leave for the day, I'll grab, like, three or four and put in my truck. Yeah, you do. Like, I'm walking out of the door with an armful. And <laughs> shit, it's expensive. Yeah, it is. But they came out with an 18-pack. Did instead they? Instead of the 12-pack. 18-pack instead of... So, I bought two 18 pack. It's like I'm buying beer, right? Oh yeah. I bought two eighteen packs. It was fifty bucks. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh-huh. Kind of ridiculous, but I'm it's better than drinking beer. Yeah, I agree. And it gives you the satisfaction of of popping a top. Popping a top. Yeah. Holding the can. Yeah. I'd want to know more about the company's history. Like what their thought process was and all that jazz. I don't know. The branding's pretty cool. It is very cool. All right, I'll just read this. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. When a group of teenagers set off into the mountains for a weekend of drinking regular water in plastic bottles, they became hunted by an aluminum can. 
of mountain water that was dead set on murdering their thirst and recycling their souls. Once cracked open, no thirst is safe from liquid death. After ritually dismembering its thirst victims, this brutal can of water used the severed body parts of dead thirst to build itself a flesh suit which it used as a disguise to get a job uh, in marketing but liquid death never took the job it just murdered a bunch more thirst instead hashtag death to plastic we don't uh, we donate 10 percent of all profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution that's cool We do recycle. Uh, unfortunately, I can't say that we are good about recycling cans. No, we're not. But it's hella good water. It is good. And I'm done with this one. There you go. And I'm ready for this one. Cheers. Cheers. Salut. Salut. What'd you do today, honey? Um, I took one of our daughters to a birthday party. Mm-hmm. Um, I got up this morning. Prior to that, got up this morning. We hung out on the couch. I did some work on my laptop. I loaded, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I think five episodes into our apple podcast platform Mm -hmm. Uh, and to do that there's an entire process Mm -hmm. i'll kind i'll kind of explain it okay it is you have to go into our podcast set which is inside of youtube on everyday moments for us Mm -hmm. and then i have to download it out of there yeah and then i have to wait for it to download to my computer so you have to have enough space so all of the other stuff that's downloaded, I have to go in and delete, which sucks because I like to go back and reference it. So then I've got to go grab a hard drive to take and transfer all of that stuff to in case I want to go back to it. Mm-hmm. Luckily, we have like 80 hard drives around here. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> so if I just dump, 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 and completely I just you know keep you should, recycling You know stuff. what you should do instead of the hard drive is the... Uh the cloud yeah yeah so that i can access it quicker mm-hmm. yeah and like the search at the same time better. i want to just put it away and i don't want to see it like true. i've already used it and i've used most of it to the full extent mm-hmm. that i probably am not going to repurpose it for a while mm-hmm. and if i put it on there then it's out of sight out of mind and i can grab it later yeah that's true that's true. But yeah, I could put it in a Google Drive. I don't I just don't want to pay for that. We have the external yeah, hard drives. I got you. External hard drives go bad though, but then there's also like the cloud can disappear too, so Yeah. I like I just like the options, I guess. So anyways, back to my day. Um woke up, sat on the couch, did that. We had f- some friends that are staying close they're kind of camping i guess glamping yeah and uh they didn't read the fine print and the glamping and instructions mm-hmm. and so they're like uh we need cooking utensils mm-hmm. but we don't want to go buy them and they're really close i mm-hmm. mean they're maybe 10 minutes away yeah and they're like can we come borrow your kitchen yeah Okay. Yeah, you can come borrow our kitchen. That's fine. Mm-hmm. And so they came over and loaded up all of our pots and pans so they could cook. Yeah. And I don't care. I don't care either. I mean, if we cared, we would have said no. I've been like, it just go buy them. They're not that expensive. But shit, everything is right now expensive. Everything's hell of expensive. Yeah. 
So they came over and... And I can understand why that cabin place doesn't provide pots and pans because so many people stay. Or steal them. Or that's what I'm saying is so many people stay there that it would be hard to maintain. Um, It would be really hard to maintain just keeping up because they have so many cabins. It would yeah. be hard to maintain having actual like inventory of each place because it's not like an Airbnb. Airbnbs are a lot different. <clears throat> you're gonna have to speak up a little bit because i can't i can barely hear you in my ears too oh hi that's better uh-huh yeah i turned your bike up did you yeah you just didn't point it up a little bit there you go you're good what does that do i don't know what is that what is it it's a button and i'm pushing it i don't know what it does I'm sorry. I hate doing that in my mic, but it is what it is. Actually, that's, I think that's for whenever you connect your. Oh, your ear holes. Uh, I wonder if we can connect these to here. I don't think so. I think we tried that already once before and it doesn't work like that. Did we? Yeah. I think so. Because everything has to go through the roadcaster. Yeah. So there's a whole shit ton of stuff. In order to make this happen. And the roadcaster would not cooperate earlier. No. During is, your podcast. Which is the whole like reconfiguration purpose. And we're back on the couches. Like we have two different scenes. We do. We have chairs. I, we've got. Anybody on TikTok an artist? Yeah. I, I need artwork for our podcast room. Yes. If you are an artist or you know an influencer or someone that does artwork, yes, please reach out to us. Or and any of our listeners or subscribers. Over there too. Yeah, we That's are we are looking for an artist to do some artwork for And that a goes while. for you guys yes. up there. Yeah. We want some we want some artwork. I'll trade you for a blanket. No, I'm just kidding. We'll pay you. Well, and our friend that came over to buy borrow pots and pans. Yeah. She could even shoot on our stuff in this room. Yeah, and I've asked the her. Photo. Yeah, I've asked her. Oh, that would be really badass. That one particular image we want. Yeah, right there on that wall. Yeah. The black wall. Turn the lights off. Yeah. And do it. Yeah. Um, I would almost want to do some self imagery because I kind of know how to pose us and I've got the trigger for the cameras. So I think we could probably do it ourselves. I think we could potentially do like at least attempt. Do we still have a ring light? Yes. We do? Yeah, but we have all of this. Yeah, but we'll need like I understand we have all of this, but if we just point the ring light at that wall, it'll give enough reason reflection with a phone and a trigger and it'd probably be that simple no you don't think so Mm -mm. no no because i know you want it camera so i do want it camera style because i know specifically what i'm looking for and i want the editability of um of the image okay it's worth a try but I didn't think we were going to go back to the sofa. But I do appreciate this setup a lot. It makes a lot more sense in this room. It does. Our dog, poor thing. We have a golden doodle. He's so depressed right now. He got his balls removed. He got neutered. Yeah. They're still fighting for dominance. He's going to lose. He's smaller. Of course he's going to lose. He doesn't think he's smaller. No. Brought to you by Altoids. <laughs> the breath freshener. I like Altoids. Also, Jen's Tic Tacs. Yeah. Thank you. Really good. Whenever they first came out with this cam, 
They made them tiny. Mm-hmm. Like the a, minis. Like a Zyrtec mm-hmm. size. Yeah, I thought that's what this was whenever I bought it. And Jen really likes the cinnamon ones. I very much do love the cinnamon ones. But they didn't have them. But I went to Target. Yeah, because you had to get a birthday present for that little girl. Yeah. Which was expensive. A little bit expensive. What'd you get her? Um, Bath bombs. How fun. And candy. That's what she requested. That's sweet. And a bag. Yeah. And tissue paper. And we did it up right. Oh, you're such a good daddy. Yeah. Well, dad style. Dad takes care of daughter. Mm Mm-hmm. As much as I wasn't wanting, I'll be honest, I didn't want to leave what I was doing. I was in the middle of something. I didn't get to complete it. I really wanted to complete a task today. Yeah. At the same time, I'm a family man. Indeed. And I enjoy doing the things with her children. And we were actually just talking right before we started this podcast that I want to be a better father. Not that I'm a bad one, but I want to be even better. I want to be better every day. Yeah. I want to be better for our children. I want to be better for you every day. Mm-hmm. What about better for yourself? Well, doing that makes me better for myself. And so... I've watched our business. So this is something that I do. I go back and watch our business podcast. And then I watch our podcast. Mm -hmm. And I maybe shouldn't do this, but I do this anyways. I compare them. And I compare the content. I compare the energy. I compare what we're talking about. and. I can say that when we first started our podcast on this channel, it has continuously changed. And I'm not saying that that is a bad thing by any means. Because I think the change in the content should be there. Mm -hmm. At the same time, Mm -hmm. I have, because... I have been doing, and I'm not making excuses by saying this, so I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but because I've been doing the the business podcast, my mind frame is not shifting to this. To what? And I'm noticing that. To us? To us. And when we do ours. You want to do more business? No, that's not what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. No, I'm trying to just understand what you're saying. Well, I'm I'm not taking anything the wrong way. I'm just trying to understand. What I'm saying is whenever I do the business podcast, like, I'm 100% business. Mm -hmm. Like, and when I'm in business mode, I dominate the conversation, especially whenever I am the host, I'm going to dominate the conversation. To a certain degree. I'm going to let the other person be who they are. And I'm going to give them their time to talk. And I'm going to represent them. But I'm going to dominate the podcast. I'm going to moderate it. I'm going to put their stuff up for them. I'm going to, you know, fully integrate their slideshow. Like, I'm in full control of that situation. And I don't want to be in full control of this podcast is what I'm getting at. Why is that? Because this is us. And I'm not trying to control us. Yeah. In a business sense, I want the control factor there. Yeah. In our relationship, I never want that. You don't want to control? No. 
I don't want you to feel like you are being controlled. I don't want you to feel like you're being overly dominated. I don't want you to feel like I'm stepping on on you. And I know that I have. And it bothers me because I go, like I said, I go back and watch everything. Mm -hmm. I just bother. It bothers the shit out of me that I I skip over some of the things that you're saying in that same context and you get off topic sometimes and squirrel nut right and I'm not shaming you for this it's just part of what happens and I appreciate that I just need to dive into it more and I noticed this about me Mm -hmm. and so full disclosure right right here right now like i'm owning my faults and what i need to work on Mm -hmm. i know and you've told me that already um that you feel like you over talk me or whatever because in the beginning of our relationship i told you like if I get interrupted, yep. I just stop talking. And the way that I talk and the way that I speak and the way that I present myself or when we're having a conversation, there are long pauses for me. I will get out majority of what I'm going to say and then I go to try and finish the conversation or my thought. And then by the time that I actually finish it, you're interrupting me or someone's interrupting me because they think I'm done. I'm, I'm, I wasn't finished with my thought process or my train of thought. And so it's like, I, I feel like it's like, this is how I communicate. And people are so quick to jump and finish somebody's thought mm-hmm. and somebody's sentence that it's like, you, I, I just stopped talking because it's like, well, you didn't, he- I didn't feel heard. So I'm just going to stop talking and I'll just sit here and say, mm-hmm, okay. Yeah. Or, you know, so it, and I know you're not doing it out of the fact that you don't love me and don't appreciate me. And you don't value what I have to say. And that's just how you not naturally communicate. But you also know that from my heart and my soul and where I come from, that you know that that's wearing thin for me. And so you don't want to continue to do it because you know, and you're probably going back and watching and seeing, you're seeing a regression in my communication because I'm, and I'm not saying, I'm I'm saying this because I don't have another way to say it is like, I don't feel valued or I don't feel heard. So I'm just going to stop talking. Like I'm going to stop giving input. Yes. And so we talked about this earlier Mm -hmm. and I, encouraged you because you told me you haven't gone back and watched any of them yeah so i encourage you again to go watch go watch our stuff honey I will. I told because you I would. in order for everyone else to believe in us you and i have to believe in us and what we're doing yeah and i do believe in us and i do like our stuff and i do like watching it but i'm like the hardest critiquer of myself and i already know i hate watching myself i already know all of my faults i know that i can't can't keep my phone out of my hand i know that i well you have to be doing something i mean you're crocheting right now yeah so and that's fine i'd rather you be crocheting than surfing the web or yeah, feeling like you're less important. Like, yeah. I feel like I can crochet and us have a conversation and you not feel less important. Whereas if I had a phone in my hand and I was trying to watch a video that I could go back and replay later on. Yeah. You know? I do know. And so, like, and even to And it gives me the exact feelings that you're describing. Sorry if my leg is her foot. You're fine, hon. So. I really love the picture quality of what I have done there. That's nice. You did good. Even for it to go through a streaming platform, I feel like so much has changed. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we have a dark room. At the same time, we have a fuck ton of lights. Right. Well, it's not a yellow wall behind us. No. Like, so, describe the other two on the podcast today and their setups. Oh, yeah. Uh, So. Give some context on that. Joe has a really cool setup. I like his. His. I like his lighting. Like, he's a lot more darker and moodier, which I would like to figure out how to get. We can do that. I would like. It's but, camera, but It's a, a camera settings and lighting settings. Yeah. But his clarity is still there. We went dark and moody and lost clarity. He's got dark and moody. It. it is all about lighting and settings. Yeah. So he went. And lighting and settings play such a huge role. Mm-hmm. His setup's really cool. I really liked it. Uh, dark and moody. Uh, and then uh, Chris was actually like. Chris is great because he like makes any freaking setting work, man. Like he is. If you go watch Chris uh, Chris Burke's TikTok stuff, he, he's got this one TikTok where he actually talks about like where he just legit threw some lights up in a spare garage, and it's a garage, it's a garage that he was going and recording his stuff in, but it doesn't look like it because it's the placement of the camera and the placement of the lights, and like you can make any set look good, anything can look good. So it's all about placement. It's all about placement. Yeah. So, and so Chris was live in like an extra room of his and he took a really cool picture and he was like, this is what the camera sees and this is what I see. And so it's like the kid's playroom yeah, with a little bitty tiny desk. And I'm not down. I'm not by any means shaming or downing you, Chris. No, but I want to talk about like, he's like, this is what the camera sees. And here's what you can see. Yeah. And so it's his Mac computer. One of these lights. One of those lights. Yeah. Shined really down low, like just on him for lighting. Yeah. His entire background is dark. He has a tapestry behind him. Yeah. Um, just to give some context, and there's uh, I don't know how we got the red light filter behind him. Oh, he had a light. He had a a, a fill a, a fill light. No, a fill light like what we've got, but yeah. like the square fill light. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that. Mm-hmm. We have those. We do have those, and those are expensive, by the way. We don't use them. You know, that's like four hundred dollars sitting in the closet, right? A piece. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's eight hundred dollars sitting in the closet. Yeah. There's so much money in this fucking room. I know. I know. Yeah. Anyways, this is not our typical content. No. But again, we don't have typical content. Yeah. We have, it's everyday moments for us for a reason. Yeah. This is us doing what we're doing. I feel like I have been on the brink of crying all day long. Why? I don't know. What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Well, don't start because I don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to cry? No. Me crying is going to make you cry? Yeah, I don't Why? like Because I love you. I don't I like you. to see you upset. I know, and I don't know why. You don't know why I like to, don't like to see you upset? No, I, I know why you don't like to see me upset. I'm just saying, like, I don't oh, you know. You need some chocolate. I need chocolate. What do you guys think about these? It started last night. I love the heat, the bars. It started last night wanting to cry, and it's just, why? Continued, it's just continued on today. After our talk? Uh. I think I kind of felt like that before. There's, there's just some feelings, and I, I can't pinpoint them. I, I like I said, I, when I tell you I don't know, I genuinely don't know. It's just a feeling that I've wanted to cry all day. That make you happy? Mm. Well. Oh look, another heat advisory. Oh yay! Every day. Did you turn the sprinklers off? Okay. 
Yeah, no more golden retriever eating the sprinkler heads. Did causing you- the geysers in the backyard. Mm-hmm. Yep. I was wondering why he was so soaking wet. Like, why are you that wet, dude? Seems like I found a way to play. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I'll leave that right there. I didn't know if you were going to like it or not. I love chocolate in any form. How about you guys? you like chocolate? If you like chocolate, give us some likes, some hearts. <laughs> Maybe a diny. I'll do the rawr. You want to see the rawr? I've got a good one. Are you doing our podcast or are you doing TikTok? Both. <laughs> Is it bothering you? No. I'm just asking you to stay focused. Pretty focused. You are focused. I agree. What's your plan for the rest of uh, the weekend? Today is Sunday. Yeah. I have to go pick up a child. I'd like to put together the bookcase that came in. I set out a ham. I saw that, and I know that H2 is just going to be so excited. Yep. Yeah. Should I smoke it or a it? Yes. No. Smoke it. Smoke it. Gonna be so good. I want to make the glaze that I put on it. Not the not the glaze. Is anybody uh not like a smoker, but does anybody smoke meat? Mm. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Hey TikTokers, do y'all like to smoke the meat? If that's not a if that if that's not like a reused sound, you know what I mean? Like, or uh, I'm I'm gonna get reused on that. Maybe smoke my meat, baby. Yeah, I can honestly say, like, I'm pretty stoked about my mic setup. That's good. I haven't touched it. You haven't, and you haven't fought with it either. No. That's right here. It listens to me. It listens like, to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have to move it around. Like it's perfect. It's not blocking. It's not in my face, like blocking the view of the camera. Any shot, like this shot, perfect. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, it looks good. I'm like not- you don't get the arm in it. No. You just get the mic. Yeah. And if I actually look at the camera. It's funny because when we bought these tables, we bought them specifically for this purpose. You know what? I'm just having this mind thought right now. Like, if we wanted to go live on these, Mm -hmm. we can mount them to the top of the cameras and look at our cameras and talk to them. If you bought another one of these, Uh I don't know if you have one, and use the mount... We mounted the to, hot shoe. Yeah. Uh-huh. To this uh-huh. and throw it on top of the camera. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Then yeah. it's there. Yeah. You can do that. I know. I just thought of this. Mm-hmm. And then And then it grabs the full shot. Or we okay. can put it in the center camera. And then we need to buy another um just go with me. We need to buy another set of the road go prior wireless, go pro wireless. Because you and Mike into it, you wear the wire. You wear the the lavalier. I think we need a, an additional set, anyways. And then listen to this. So then you you double lavalier it, right? You're wearing two, so it's getting my audio and your audio for that, and then your audio and my audio for that. Yep. So that's crazy. That's and a, we have a third phone for the center camera, but no audio. It'll still pick up the audio. Yeah. 
out of just the phone itself. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. And we could go live in three different places. That's crazy. Yeah. And get plus the live. Well, we don't even have to go live here, but if we were live on the podcast, we would be live in all platforms plus whatever additional platform we want to be live in. So if you wanted to go live in three different TikToks, once we grow everyday moments yeah. into a thousand or whatever, actually, I'm going to make this ask right now. So Jen has the exit point. Yes. I encourage everybody to go to the exit point and like, subscribe to that, follow it, whatever, whatever TikTok is. Like we, we have so many freaking platforms. It's unbelievable. But at the same time, we need to grow everyday moments platform mm-hmm. so that we can go live on it mm-hmm. because everyday moments is where everything lives. Yeah. I'm not sure what kind of content is in there currently because I haven't even checked that account. Everyday moments. Yeah. Have you been loading stuff into it? It, It's so I set it up for, are we talking about Instagram or TikTok? TikTok. Uh, Yeah. So it's on a drip campaign and the shorts that are living in the Google drive uh, have a RSS link through my. Hang on back up. Cause you're going to get me excited. It has an RSS link to. Apple, or I need to gift you that information. You could probably give me that information. Interesting. Yeah, it has an RSS V feed. Cloud campaign. Mm-hmm. I don't. Know. I don't like you okay. said the name, but yeah. Sorry. Doesn't matter. Everybody uses it. I'm sure. I hope. Anyways, it's not like we own the damn no, we don't. software. We don't. We don't. But yeah, so they've it's it's getting content loaded and recycled because of the stuff that's in the Google Drive. So if you load more stuff into the Google Drive, it will automatically post. So it'll post when new stuff is added to the Google Drive. So if you post new stuff to the Google Drive and then I Time have out. you're explaining how to do everything. Oh. I'll stop. After I. I'll tell you. I can tell you later. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want your stuff dripped out, you must reach out to ugc.thejenniferclements.com. Yeah. Or you can just go to Jennifer Clements. Or you can go to everydaymomentsforus.com. And you can find all three brands Mm -hmm. for all of your needs. So I'm a business coach. You are. On so many levels. Also content creator. Hello. Hi. On the content creator part, I usually like to work behind the scenes, behind the camera. Yeah. And I love to video my fiance as... She is so gorgeous. You're very sweet and kind. And she is one of a kind behind the camera. She is on point. Chris told me that today. So many, so many times. There's not another person like her. I watch so much stuff, so much content that is teleprompted by so many different platforms whether it's snapchat instagram the filters that go in there that are like trying to teach you how to do a dance video on the trending things they're all auto-generated things that are teleprompted yeah and i think this is important to discuss okay and i have another topic that i want to discuss tonight too which is ai okay we're going to go over the 100 minutes, but. I don't, I don't mind. Well, actually, no, because we're right we're, at 50 minutes. So we have another 50 minutes to go. So what was the first thing I said I wanted to talk about? AI was one, and then. I'm just checking you're listening. I know. You said you wanted to talk about AI, and then you wanted to talk about. I didn't take my ADD medicine today, by the way. Um. 
did you just say? Why is my brain not firing? I heard what you said because I caught the AI part. Uh-huh. I'm still here. I'm just thinking. I know you are. Business coaching. AI. Content generation. Love me. Love filming me. And then there's a gap. I don't know. What? Okay. Okay. At this point, I don't remember either. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was any of you guys listening? <laughs> Can you redirect us? All right. So we were talking about what? Can you tell us? All right. So I'm going to do something real quick. Okay. Oops. I'm going to be right back. Okay. And the crowd is on you. Oh, hello, everyone. This is how much I've finished. It's pretty good. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's digging in the suitcase. He's. We've got an event coming up, and he's... Pack. He's he is pre-packed like our travel gear. Hard. Oh. Oh. Hi. So we have 50 more minutes to go to create our 100 minutes of content today. We're 50 minutes in, and I don't know what he's doing. I'm making a blanket and doing a podcast. He wanted to talk about AI. Just my brain completely just fried out on me. It's ridiculous. It's hard to keep talking because you're such a strong part of this podcast and I love sitting down and talking with you. And I don't think I could be one of those people that give like by themselves podcasts and sit down and talk unless I was reading emails and responding to emails and giving my thoughts on emails. But just to sit down and talk about myself and what's going on with my life. Yeah. Here we go. Instagram ended over here because my phone's going to die. I don't know that that comes off, honey bunny. Um, actually, give me the just so you know. Oh, so you need a hot shoe to a hot shoe. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just like, oops. Howdy, oops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> around and around she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Oh, maybe you can't. Okay. So, troubleshoot and fix. You can record that way. Like, if you just want to record, record. But still, like, what's the point of recording? Still finding glitter in my socks. What happened to the TV we lost at the airplay? Still recording. That's smart. Yeah. Where's that coming from? <laughs> Huh? You got a good booty. Anyways, we're back. Yeah. From a different direction. And now y'all have better audio than us. Mm hmm. I just don't know. Remember that time we went live on Facebook one time? And they're like, oh, only one of y'all's audio works. I don't know if it was the road. Or if it was a setting on the phone. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if it was. Well, we're going to find out. <clears throat> I, think I think we can go back and watch. I think we can. I think TikTok keeps your lives for a little while. That's good. Man, I like this. I like the diversity of what I just did. Yeah. I haven't thought about, man, every time we do this, I think about something new. I love that about your brain. I love that you are constantly improving and tweaking and like, I love that you're able to like still hold a conversation, but I know you got like four other things working in the back. I do appreciate that. This is pretty cool. It is really cool. Never thought like, honestly, for one, never thought I'd be behind the camera. In front of the camera? In front of the camera. I don't mind being behind the camera at all. Like in front of the camera, I'm a little self-conscious and... I've grown to the fact that it doesn't bother me anymore. Like I, I know that there is the entire world watching us. You okay? Mm -hmm. I just know that there's the entire world watching and it bothered me for so long to, to be able to do this. And the only reason why I'm able to do this is because of you. You give me the strength to put myself out there and want to be a better person and want to, I don't know, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to do this. Yeah, 
I wouldn't be able to do this without you. Like, I would probably like, still be doing coffee with Jen from a cell phone. There's no way. <laughs> my confidence level has skyrocketed, and I'm not, my, I don't have, like, a huge head on, on me for this. There has been different settings that I've done this in, that we've done this in. The white room literally scares the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. I, the white room is my favorite. The white room is also my favorite. Whenever I'm behind the camera. Yeah. I'm looking forward to... I'm looking forward I to... I want to do both, though. I want to use the white room when we go there. Yeah. That's To what do I was both. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure how much lighting we need to take with us. So the white rooms, we need to take probably two... We need to probably take two of these with us. Uh, it's pretty bright already. Well, here's the deal is it's going to light the wall but, behind us, but it's not going to light what's coming at us. So we need to bring our own lights to light us from forward. Because well, we got to have back. the camera light, right? Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it's a white room and I'm going to have to change so many camera settings. I already know this. Yeah. But I'm getting good at even, at even doing that. Like You are. But I also have to have a screen. A screen. To see uh, what what that is. Yeah. Because it makes a huge difference having... A big screen to tap into. Not even a big screen, just a high quality 4K image. Because if that's what you're producing, you want to see... But that's what we're recording in. We're recording in Ultra 4K at the highest speed possible for the best pixelation on what we're doing. And that's not an easy thing to do whenever you change setups. When you change colors, even wearing colors, right? Mm -hmm. Colors right now. When we first started, our colors were so off. Mm -hmm. Our facial colors were off. Mm -hmm. Our facial colors match now. Mm -hmm. Even when we switch from screen to screen, we are the same color. Mm -hmm. We were orange or tan or whatever. Mm -hmm. We were even purple and blue at one point. We've got everything dialed in perfectly. And so... <laughs> It scares the shit out of me. To I'm pack gonna, it up. I'm literally scared to death to tear this down. So when I reserve the studio, how long do you want me to reserve the studio for? Do you want me to do from... I need two hours. Okay. Because so I want to be able to master the teardown setup in an hour. I really do. No, but but you... I need two hours to... I want to set up in an hour i want an hour of record or maybe two hours maybe it needs to be three hours okay what i was getting at is <clears throat> i'm thinking probably booking so we do but you're so fast so maybe an hour's enough <clears throat> here's the deal it's like once i but get we also have to get comfortable and then we have wardrobe changes so that we can change i mean there's a lot that goes into going to studio. Yeah, but once I get on a roll, like, I don't want to stop. Like, and that's the frustrating part about getting rolling here when we have kids or when Miles is awake is it's like I can get on a roll and then Miles needs something, needs attention, needs anything at all. And it's like, he's obviously my first priority. Yes. And he's always my first priority. But that's the frustrating part of, like, why I am getting to where I am, where I'm just like. So, and he, we could take him with us and put him in the wardrobe room. Yeah, but he's so, and here's the deal. He's so freaking fussy right now. I know, but it closes off and it's soundproof. The wardrobe room is not soundproof. It's open ceiling. Through to. Yeah. Room. Yeah, and you can book the know. right room, and then somebody else could be having the uh, the main area. So, yeah, but 
I don't mind. I mean, we're going to have to take him with us. I even want to do a podcast there. Yeah. I do. I want to use their equipment and do a podcast there. And I want to actually want to see the difference between the two. Our setup, their setup through our same platform, use our platform, stream it through our platform. I mean, they have the capability. Everything's set up already there. All we got to do is log into our stuff and press record button, sit down, start talking. Yeah. So that's another thing that I want to do. All right. So I talked about wanting to talk about AI. Yes. And I do remember having that thought process. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the other thing, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't retain that information. You're fine. What's up with that? Oh, it the screen. I, I, Are we done over there? My phone battery notification came on, and when that came on, it paused the live, and then it paused for so long that now the live has ended. Oh, we're be- getting hearts. Thanks for the hearts. Yeah. Uh, and then, so yeah, there we go. That's what it you is. You guys are mounted to our main camera for our podcast. Yes. So if you go to Everyday Moments for us, you're going to see this. Tag yourself, throw up dinos, whatever you want to do. Hearts are cool. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Can you guys hear us all right? Um, give me like 15 double taps on a heart if you can hear us good on TikTok. Just blow up. Are we getting both mics or are we getting just one mic? That was one of the questions that we had concerns with. If you can blow up the, yeah, blow up the hearts. If you can hear both of us really clear. Yeah. There's two hearts. Just two more. So, and, and the comments are coming through. So, yeah. It's fantastic. I assume that everybody on TikTok can hear. I think they're liking this uh, vibe that we've got. Yeah. All right. So the audio is better. Yeah. So I want to talk about AI. Okay. Because there's a lot of things happening. And I feel like, oh my God, like I have so many feelings towards this and I'm not trying to call this person out, but I'm going to call this person out and fully prepared for repercussions. Okay. I feel like we are fixing to be controlled as a country by AI. AI built by a certain person. uh, And there are certain things that I absolutely hate about it. There are certain things that I absolutely love about it. Okay. And so I don't want to downplay or upplay what it is that I'm talking about. However, I'm scrolling through my Facebook earlier and I'm literally just scrolling. I mean, I'm, and I don't get on Facebook long enough because dude, we have too much shit to do, honestly. So I'm scrolling through Facebook and I roll across an AI bot that tells me that she can be sexy and she can do anything that she wants for me. What are your thoughts on that? My thoughts go to our children that we are raising and that's a, uh, um, our, my thoughts go to our children and the world of which they are being raised in. And we thought our generation was overly sexualized. Our children's generation is going to be probably five to 10 times more that more than that, that they are going to have such a harder time having a relationship with an actual human being because of the artificial component that it's like they're going to thrown in their face. It is. And they're basically what I'm getting at is it's like they are not going to know how to build relationships. They're going to automatically assume that, you know, they're not going to have to like 
know how to ask for needs or meet the needs of someone else. They're not going to know how to meet the needs of their partner in order to fulfill that relationship. Because before you can get sexual, you've got to fulfill. There's Okay, so there's that initial initial desire for for sexual like you know attraction whatever yeah Yeah. but for a relationship to maintain a longevity there are certain things that you have to fulfill in your relationship in order for it to maintain and that's what our our kids generation is going to be lacking because they're not going to know how to do that because there's that that instant gratification of going and getting an ai whatever there's male versions there's female versions it doesn't matter it's awful it's god awful and you guys it's sickening honestly it is. i'm scared yeah i'm scared for our children that they're not going to have real interaction with real humans and they're going to this is going to be their out and at the same time the people that are behind these ai bots are potential sex traffickers yes that's what scares me even fucking more. Yeah. And so I have this mind, this whole mind thought process, literally, I don't know, an hour before we started this because I scrolled for a second. It popped up. I sent it to you. There's not anything that I don't share with you. I know. I'm just letting the world know. Like, I share everything with you. I'm not trying. I was. I wasn't trying to hide it. I'm not like seeking it, but it's a world that we live in. We are very much involved in technology. We're tech savvy. We know about AI. We use it daily. We use it properly. Yes, not maliciously. We use it to improve we use ourselves. It- we use it for business. We use it for our personal stuff. We we use it in different ways mm-hmm. to help. And and it's not even it's not like okay, go write us content for this. Mm-hmm. Yes, we do ask it to do that, mm-hmm. but then we turn around and change it and put it into our own words. Right. So we we do allow it to help us to a certain degree and and we use it properly it's an assistant i don't i said got it i like to help (laughs) i know you do and i'm gonna go need to go get another ball of yarn um but i just don't appreciate it for our children i don't either did i make sense when i was trying to explain what i'm concerned about for our kids like they're not gonna know how to slow down They're just, I'm worried about that. I'm a master, like, a nutter. Yes, you are. You gotta follow it. Go ahead. I'm just concerned for for them. What do you think is gonna happen? Like, what do you truly, what do you think the next step is? Because, obviously, it's there for anybody that wants it right now, right? Yeah. And they're gonna use it. They are. They're I'm not just, shaming anybody for using it no, either. No. I, I want to make that clear. No. Like, teach their own, right? Yeah. And if that's what you want to do, but what I do well, not appreciate what, about it is extent, the sex trafficking right. part of it. Well, and where does AI get, where is AI going to cut off? Like, is there, like, you so could make is, these AI things look like anything, anything. So these people who are predators. This is where I think the government's stepping in to like. It's disgusting. This is truly where I think the government's stepping in. And a lot of people are hating on the government for stepping in on the AI. And now that I understand a little bit more of it, I agree with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. With trying to put a stop to it. Not all of it, obviously. Certain parts of it, like yeah. the correct parts that need to disappear out of it. Yeah. Like the re-imaging. Have you seen those AI-generated headshots that everybody's get trying to do and get and stuff? And I'm like, don't do that. Uh, so there's even... I, I saw an app yesterday, and I thought it was really cool. 
um, for imaging for artists that not necessarily for artists, but for people that want to get tattooed, yeah, they can create an image and put it on their body without actually putting it on their body. Oh. And I appreciate that. Yeah. There and there's so many cool things about AI. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like right now, I could tell AI to throw a photo on the wall. Yeah, and it would. I don't want that. I want an actual photo. Yeah. Or a piece of artwork. I want the actual thing there. Yeah. I don't want some auto-generated AI thing there because I still want to live in a real world. Yeah. Very much. Yeah, I agree. So that's my thoughts on AI. I think there's going to be, I think there's going to be a, um, like a transition. Like everybody's going to this virtual stuff. And then there's going to be that. It's not like. And then there's going to be like the, where'd the reality go? And then there'll be a transition back to the reality part. I really hope so. But it's not like VR hasn't been around for a long time either. And people are using it though. Have you, in the, have in the you sexual see, version. Yes. Have you seen that one, a guy who lives in a complete virtual world? Have you seen that? No. That like he lives in this like teeny, teeny, tiny like dump of a house or even teeny, tiny like dump of a room. And he's lives with his virtual headset on and in his, vir- and in his virtual headset, he lives in this like, you know, whatever world he's created for himself. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to say it's a mansion. But then, like, he put a camera up in his room that shows how he lives it with his virtual headset on. Yeah. And it's like he's got a bucket with, like, that he's, like, bathing himself in. But in his virtual world, he's probably in, like, a 3,700-foot bathroom or something. But in the real world, like, he's choosing, he like, physically he's here in the real world, but mentally and visually he's in the AI world that he's created for himself. That's so weird. And it's very, very odd. So, but there are people out there, and so visual, and so, and to that, so there again, virtually he's getting up and going to work and making money in the AI world, and then this virtual world that he's created for himself. Like, But he's not. But he's not leaving that room. Man. Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. I I don't know how many of you guys have kids that are watching. We have five. And this literally it is scaring the shit out of me. Yeah. I worry about our kids a lot. I know. Me too. And I know that I can't protect them from the world. But I can educate them on what it's out there. Whether they believe you or not. I don't care. I'm willing to put in the effort to educate. I believe we have to. Oh, I know we have to educate. I'm so proud of myself. I finally used up one ball of yarn. And now it's blanket size. Yeah. Face covers your lower half. Is your coffee still warm? No, cold coffee. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Showing a little skin. Oh, you made a little risque over there, huh? Like that? Your mic stands an upgrade for sure. It's pretty cool that I'm double mic'd right now. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And we're going to be, I guess we could be double mic'd, but we got to spend the money to get two mics. Triple mic'd, you mean? Oh, yeah, triple mic'd. Yeah, that's going to be cool. We could do, we can bring the other phone in and and, tri- and quadruple mic. That's too much. We have a shot from every angle. Yeah, but it's too much. Not necessarily if we can grow everyday moments account plus exit point plus personal and let them all just go. What's up? What's just up? Let what's up? It, just let them ride. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why not? We're already creating the content. Why yeah. not let it go live? Yeah. On every platform. 
That's true. I can't wait for your gift to come in. I have no idea what this is. She keeps talking about it. Like she wants me to know what it is. I asked you. It's a tease. It is a tease. Yeah. I need some more ink. Therapy. Okay. How about you? You ready? I don't know. Why? I feel fluffy right now. Like looking up there in the camera, like this right here. What is this? What do you want to go to the gym? You want to start walking? What do you want to do? I'd like to start walking and I'd like to get back on the bike. Okay. Because I was doing, I mean, the the longest distance on the bike that I was doing was. All right. Another challenge. Okay. I think it was at like 26 miles was the longest distance. It's a lot of calories to burn, but I was really enjoying the bike. How long do you need? For what? The bike. Oh, I don't know. It takes a long time to work up to that. So how much do you need a day, time, time wise? An hour. Yeah. Sorry. You're okay. I'm yeah. keeping yawning. You need an entire hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's do drop off. Okay. Get drop off done. Okay. And then let's change our routine. Okay. So drop off, workout, shower, work. Mm hmm. Okay. One, two? Yeah. I'm almost wanting to challenge myself to do because I did really good this week getting up before everyone. But yeah. I wonder if it's because my kid was counting on me. Like if I count on me, I let myself down. But if my kid is counting on me, I'm not letting my kid down. What if I'm counting on you? I feel like it's easy to manipulate you out of that. Why? Because I can be like, no, I don't want to, or this or that or whatever. So, I mean, I know you count on me. You count on me every day. Well, I can say this. We have car seats installed in both vehicles now. Yes, we do. So you're going to have to get up, and I'm going to have to get up in order to do drop-off. Yeah, this is true. So I don't know what you want to count on, but you're going to have to learn to figure out how to count on something. And so count on working out. And let that be a goal. And in order to work out, you have to get up to do drop off to get your mind going and get your blood going. And by the time we get home, we'll be ready to do that. And we can either start it off by a walk, even in the morning prior to taking the kids to school. We can go for a short walk to get our blood flowing. And then we can take the kids to school. And then we can come back and work out. And that gives less workout time, honestly, because we're already burning cow. We're getting our heart rate up first, first thing in the morning, which is really good. We can do that in one of two ways. And then drop the kids off, do our thing, get ready for the day, come in here, do our stuff, and... Hopefully get into a point where we can do this during the day. However, the other channels like the nightlife for whatever reason. So we're going to have to figure out 11 to 1 type of situation. Mm -hmm. Which we can probably do because the baby goes to bed at somewhere around 10 to 11. So I'm going to be in here recording anyways at that time. And then our daytime recordings, and I've reached out. I haven't told you this, so this is kind of a surprise for you. I've reached out to some pretty large corporate people because you know me, and we did one tap, and I'm fixing to step it up, and I'm going to continue to raise the bar for myself on that level. 
That's funny because that's what that's it's not funny, but that's what um, Joe was saying today. He said, you know, you challenge yourself to do from like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. to give yourself 12 hours and message brands and say, hey, can we do a podcast? Hey, can we do a podcast? You might message 100. Do you, do you know that I have such a close reach to s- maybe you don't know this. I have a close reach to such high CEOs and companies just from my construction background yeah. that have connections to other people. Mm-hmm. And I'm connected to a lot of people that maybe in your, you maybe don't even realize. Yeah. But I think it's really cool and I'm going to continue to, but I'm going to gradually do that. Mm-hmm. I want to gradually work, work ourselves into that. And I want to organically grow our channels. There are people that buy their followers. Mm -hmm. I don't want to purchase our followers. I want our followers to be organic. I want our followers to actually want to be here. Mm -hmm. So, and I want the engagement of our followers as well. I think it's very important that we get the engagement from these people. Yeah, engagement matters. Because... If you guys are looking for a different different type of content out of us, we're willing to engage it. So there are other people that do things like, what's it called? Super chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super chat. And uh, what's that? Like, is it like Anthem or something? What's it called? Um, uh, Patreon. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to call it Anthem. Patreon. Yeah. Patreon. Is that what it is? I think it's Patreon. Yeah. All right. I don't even know what Patreon is. I have not even looked into it i'm i'm so deep into so many other things and reaching out to all of, all, all of this other stuff and trying to get it scheduled and also operate our other businesses like that's a lot it's a lot but we're gonna do it I'm going to continue to raise the bar. I know. I'm excited about raising the bar. You should be. And I don't want to do it alone. I want you to be here right here with me. I am. Because people eat you up. You have no clue. People love you. I'm not sure why. People don't know you. What does that mean? People don't know me. People don't know who you are. People have a perception of who you are, mm-hmm. but people don't really know who you are. Mm-mm. And if they went to our everyday moments page, we got a huge mm-hmm. heart just Thank now. Thank you. Um, but if people went to our everyday moments page and followed us on our YouTube page, or even the Apple podcast, they would start to figure out who you are, who we are, who what we are, I and just, what we're doing. I just had an awesome idea. Um, so if I can stick with making a blanket on the podcast, because yeah. we, we had talked about doing a giveaway, Yeah, I think it'd be cool that like if I got to the point where I finished, like this one, this one's spoken for. Yeah. This one's spoken for. But like I could make a blanket and then when it's done, that could be the giveaway. Sure. Because sitting here and crocheting helps my brain because I don't like to sit still. And I used to do this in bed. This used to be like my thing. Yep. Um and I used to get I used to give these away. Like I had a running list of people who got my blankets. And so I've got blankets in California. I've got blankets in Hawaii. I've got blankets in Washington. I've got blankets in Florida. I've got blankets in Maryland, Oklahoma. I mean, I've got blankets all over the United States. And the TikTok world doesn't even really know who you are or no, what you've done. No, 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 not at all. Like, so I've made blankets for hospital burn patients who are babies and kids. Yep. I've made blankets for... Uh, moms who have had stillborn babies and I have made blankets for um, 
hospice patients. I have made blankets for our kids. I've made blankets for, um, I've made scarves. I've made hats. Um, that's usually one of my go-to gifts for teachers is to make them a scarf. Um, and they eat that up like, and I'll typically do it in like the school colors for football or if they've got a favorite college or whatever, cause they do that, you know, get to know you sheet for the kids, uh, for back to school. But this is just such a, a positive outlet for me that I can sit and still hold conversations with people around me mm -hmm. because of the way my brain works and having ADD that if I'm watching a phone, I'm not listening to you. Right. If I'm watching a TV, I'm not listening to you. And that's why I wanted to go back to the couch. I think that the chairs are perfect for our business. And I think the couch is perfect for our personal. Yeah. What do you think? I think so too. I think so too. But and you guys on TikTok don't know about the chairs yet. <laughs> no. No. But also have another group that I need to do a following and get it boosted up so I can go live on it, which is Construction Solutions Group on TikTok. But we have a YouTube channel that we do all business stuff on the YouTube channel for Construction Solutions Group. It's got a Facebook page, Facebook group. And then we have the Jennifer Clements. Do you have a TikTok for it? I think I have a the Jennifer Clements TikTok page. Uh, so the Jennifer Clements. Do I have a the Jennifer Clements TikTok page? I don't know. I think I do. I what? do. I do. I do. I do. So I have the Jennifer Clements. I have the exit point. I have everyday moments. And then everyday moments, the Jennifer Clements, the exit point. And then I think I was like, hey, we need to do the feral business owners. There was four. Oh, and oh, I do have a feral business owners. And I was like, oh, we need to add the fifth one, which is the um construction solutions group and i, I have it i didn't know i have it on my phone yeah and i kind of feel like the feral business owners mm -hmm. i almost feel like that brand name is stronger than construction solutions group it is it doesn't have the following though no but we could rename everything we could rebrand we could cover him. Yeah. I mean, we're fixing. We could change the whole logo of the feral business owners to, to be more like we could keep the lion. I could. I like. I mean. Well, here's the thing: we have the company set up, the EIN, the bank account, oh, everything set up yeah. for that. It's already done. It's already a setup thing. This is true. And so it's hard. I really don't need this or want this. This was just like a, a, a distraction. I'm bored. I have this. Thank you. I did the same thing. All right. So we haven't done this in a minute. Oh, okay. This is how we started our YouTube channel. It is how we started our YouTube channel. Which deck is this? And this is Relationship Debates. Okay. I feel like we've gone through all of these cards. We have. doesn't matter. <clears throat> Recycle. Reuse. Right? Yeah. Is that a mosquito? I think I got it. Was it? I don't know. All right. So... You want me to ask questions or you want to ask them? I'm going to ask them. All right. You good with answering? Mm-hmm. All right. Are y'all ready? Give us some hearts if you're ready. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we have any viewers. I don't know if we do either. All right. So sometimes this gets a raunch. So here we go. Raunch o'clock. <laughs> and the first it? one moved to the back <laughs> i'm gonna read it i'm gonna read it okay okay your stepchild's parent calls you about back child support they expect you to pay what's owed because you're the spouse would you why or why not 
I don't even understand the question. Yeah, because it's flip flop. That's why I moved it. Not the right question. Mm -mm. All right. You and your significant other are drinking one night and talk about the first time you met. They admit that they were really interested in your best friend that night. Why is your best friend there? How do you respond? I don't think you understand the question. All right. So say. No, I understand the question, but I'm saying I don't think you understand the question. He's not saying that the best. He's talking like you guys were out at the bar or you guys were out at the club and you, you... and your significant other are out drinking. Mm -hmm. So we would be out drinking yeah. and you would be like, oh, hey, I really wasn't into you because I really liked your best friend, but your best friend was taken. So I was like, nah, I guess she'll do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you respond? It depends. Like, like what if you went ahead and went home with that person? That's what I'm getting at. And how do you respond to that? Well, okay. So ultimately what's happening is, is that this is hap this is coming out years later, right? Like, or months or whatever. It says significant others. So I'm assuming you've already put some labels on some shit, right? I don't know. Have you? I feel like I know where you're going with this. I'm maybe sure. I, maybe I don't. Maybe not. Maybe you're about to call somebody out. Maybe you're not. <laughs> Birch got cold again. It did get cold. All right. So are you gonna shed some light on somebody? No, I don't think so. I'm not gonna. I'm, okay. I don't think so. No black ball. No. So if you are Just save it. If you are with a, um, I think it's shitty. I think it's really shitty. What if that person is married? What do you mean? What if the person that is, is like out on the date is married? Why and, did you? And, okay. Well, first, not, Well, you're married and you're out at the bar. All right. So I'm going to rephrase this entire question. Are you ready? No, because I would like to answer the original okay, question because I have a train of thought. Okay, go. How shitty is it that your significant other had to be drunk in order for you guys to have an open line of communication for your significant other to be like, yeah, when we first met, I was, I thought I was going to, you know, hit it off with your best friend, but I am here, but yet, you know, here we are. Why did it take having alcohol in your significant other system for them to open up and be like, oh, yeah, I liked your best friend first. Like that, that alone is a huge red flag in itself. Yes. Like you should like that whole conversation that that's a perfectly normal situation. But what makes it a red flag is that you couldn't have this conversation sober. Yeah. So to that relationships that start with alcohol how do you feel like they continue or end uh so say you're at the bar that's how your relationship starts because you're drunk and you take somebody home and then you think you are building a relationship with this person because what you have in common is alcohol Usually what happens is, and, and this is just from like an outsider's perspective, like usually what happens is that if you guys are both into drinking, one of you has an, an aha light bulb moment and one of you will stop drinking and get sober or reduce alcohol intake or change priorities. And that of which is completely normal. We all grow up, we all mature, or, or at least you should mature. You know, your responsibilities are going to change. Life is going to change. Life events are going to happen. So ultimately what happens is, is if you start a relationship where you're both drinking alcohol, on the very rare occurrence, you guys both will alter your behaviors somewhat simultaneously, but ultimately it's usually one well before the other. And 
So when one makes the significant change and says, hey, I'm going to one completely go sober or two significantly cut back, it yeah. magnifies how much of a problem the other person has. So it's almost like the more you think about something, the more it bothers you. It's like the more negative you think about something, the more negative it becomes. And it may not be that it was ever really, it never, it might not seem that it's like, it might not really be that bad, but because you've withdrawn yourself from that situation, it's like, it's that bad. Like, so that's usually what happens. And then there's that disconnect of your relationship because you're like, why are you still drinking? Why are your priorities not changing? You know, this is... You said you were going to do this, but yeah. you're not, and you're still going to the bar. And which means if you're going to the bar and that's how we met, then I have some insecurities because that's how we met. Right. And I feel like you're probably doing the same thing mm -hmm. because obviously... That's right. how we met. Right. And so normally like when that happens, when like one person drops back and one moves forward, it's like, <clears throat> well, then it's like you who are holding a higher standard are mad because they won't rise up. And then the one who's still down, <clears throat> not rising up and, and, you know, meeting that other person's standard is like, why are your standards so high? You used to be with me doing this. Why are you not with me anymore? Like, you're so lame. You're lame. Like, this is, like, this is because cool. I decided to change. This is the late, like, yeah. And so I told you that I wanted a different life and I want to change. And you did not listen and you did not respect the fact that I want you only. Yeah, we met at a bar. Yeah, we were drinking. But I've now had conversations with you stating that I want to be with you and you only. And I would very much appreciate the drinking to stop or at least slow down and it be behind closed doors and just you and I. And let's you and I, okay, let's say the drinking is still a factor. Okay. You and I have a drink together. Okay. Let's do it. But why is it necessary for the other person to have to go out to the bar? And here's the answer. Because they're still seeking something else, someone else. You're not fulfilling a person's needs or wants or desires it's it's the attention factor whatever their reasoning is for the attention seeking they could be just attention uh, seeking the attention of look at me look how drunk i am look how stupid i am they may not be looking for the attention of a, a companion or a partner they could just be looking for the attention of wanting to be the clown you know be the class clown like they could just be like look how i have a different outlook you do, but I'm just saying, like, that's just an attention seeking behavior. Because, what, but what if it's, what if it's not? What there if, are people out there that want more than that. Absolutely. What if it's the fact that they are not providing and they know they're not providing what, what you need as a person being at home? They know that they're not providing that for you, whether mm -hmm. it's sexually or physically or whatever, or even emotionally, mm -hmm. they can't show up for that mm -mm. because they have narcissist, narcissistic behavior mm -hmm. and they're all about themselves. They physically are not going to just pour into the relationship they would rather pour into themselves they're selfish people and they're all about themselves they're mm -hmm. because this exists it does it really does yeah and i wonder what the statistics are on narcissism and alcoholism i would assume that they're, they're high i don't know what they are it's a very sorry it's a very triggering thing for me because I live this. Mm -hmm. And I can say honestly that I went to the bar to seek out and get away from what I wasn't 
getting at home. I wasn't getting the attention at home. I wasn't going to the bar to get just obliterated drunk. I would sit at the bar and entertain conversations around me. And it wasn't that I was entertaining even... I want to make this very clear in this for whoever may be listening. I wasn't sitting at the bar to entertain even women's conversation. You just wanted to grow your mind. I just wanted to have conversation. Yeah. And I wanted to be heard and I wanted to interact on a real level with people. And at home, I wasn't being listened to. I was being 1,000% ignored because that person was drunk by the time I got home, uh, was in a different mindset or whatever it was. And so I just started seeking out different types of attention because I needed it. Like I felt like I needed a place to release. And there were even times that I stayed at my office and my general manager and I would just sit and talk. There were times where my my ex father in law it would just be I I wouldn't even go home I would go to his house it wasn't even that I went to the bar I would go to his house and I would sit and talk with him because I couldn't go home and do that. Do you know how grateful I am for being able to come home to you? I don't even have to come home to you. I'm right here all day. Mm-hmm. And I'm able to talk and spill everything to you mm-hmm. at any point in the day. And it feels so great. Yeah, it does. To not have to hold back anything or have any regrets or have to go seek it out somewhere else. I can come straight to you and just be like, hey, can we talk? Mm-hmm. Can we go in the other room and talk just me and you for a minute, please? Mm-hmm. Like, I need. Not that I need to get something off my chest about you or our family or whatever. I just want to talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. And I think a lot of marriages end over that. Yeah, there's a lot of disconnect that happens. You spend so much time away from your spouse that, like, you think about you get married, you go and you have your honeymoon. And your honeymoon is probably the most amount of time that most people will have independently alone with their spouse. If they have the kids, yes. You know, and so, like, and that's why I feel so blessed and so protected about our situation and our circumstances is because we are able to have what we have and be able to have communication and open, open ground and I know that I'm really struggling with just being able to just talk about everything that's on my brain with you right now. You've gotten a lot better. I don't feel like I've gotten a lot better because I'm still s- receiving criticism on what to improve on. So I feel like I'm not improving and I feel like I'm still failing because I'm still getting like... It's like, okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, next, now it's this. We're going to fix this. And so I feel like it's just like we're moving from like one thing to the next that you don't like about me. No, I don't want you to take it that way. It's not meant to come across like that. I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't want to make you feel like that. I just want to be able to communicate with you. I know, and that's a failure. And I want you to be able to communicate with me. I know. That's a failure point of mine. You hold a lot back. And I can tell you hold a lot back because you sit in silence. Mm -hmm. Which means you're in your head and you're not releasing what's in your head. Yeah. Yeah. I know I have a lot of healing to do with that for 18 years. I was not, I was, I was an ignorant inconvenience 
if I spoke any idea that was brought to my head or if I spoke any thought process that was brought to my head. So I don't share a lot. It prob- I probably don't share 80% of what runs through my head on a daily basis. Um, Are you afraid to? I feel like it holds no value, so why speak it? If it's in your head, why does it hold no value? If it's in your head, it means something. Not necessarily. It means you need to release it. And if you release it out of your head, then it's gone. And then you can move through it and you can move to the next thing. Yeah. Maybe mind shift into the fact of your combat skills of moving through a target. Yeah. And think about it like that. Let's move through this target by speaking, speaking through it. Mm -hmm. Spit it out of your mind so that you don't have to keep playing it on repeat. Yeah. Seriously. I know that's deep for everybody. Yeah. And I know that's deep for us. But I'm here to listen. I listen to you. I'm right here. I know. This is our therapy room. Mm Mm-hmm. So whatever's on your mind, you're not going to offend me. I know that. There's nothing that we haven't talked about that I don't know about. I know. So, just say it. Yeah. Anything that's running through your mind, just spit it out. Like, don't sit there and dwell on it. Spit it out. And if you want to say Honey, I don't want you to have an opinion on this. Just shut up and listen. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. And I'll go grab some duct tape. (laughs) And I'll shut it off. Yeah, it's like... I know it's hard for me to shut up. I know it is. But at the same time, if you tell me to shut up and listen, and you want to be really serious about it, I'm here. I know. What's wrong? What's going through your head? Mm, that. Like the conversation that we had last night is kind of, I guess, where that statement came from. It's, it's like. At first, I wanted to get defensive and be frustrated and mad and be like. I guess I'm never going to be a a complete package or enough for everyone. Like even you, I felt like even you were finding faults in me and it was like, okay, next thing to fix. Like, am I just a a car that you're working on to like, I don't don't know. I know. I know. And so I just, I was just, just one thing after like yeah say it I just didn't know how there's a lot of times I don't want to have the conversation I don't I don't I just don't want to have the conversation because I don't want to know how much I'm letting you down because I'm happy in my own head. I'm happy in my own space. And it's like, I don't want to work on anymore. I've worked on so much. And so sometimes I just want to not work on anything else. I don't want to know anything else that's wrong because I'm not ready to move on to the next failure and fix the next failure. It's like, can I not just be fixed already can I not just be the complete package for someone because I'm tired I just 
I just want to be me. In that conversation we had last night made it feel like I just wasn't. It just made me feel like I wasn't going to be enough and that I, there was always going to be something else in next in line that you're going to want to have fixed or that I'm not going to be good enough at or that's going to need more work or that just needs to be fixed or tweaked just a little bit or that's not torqued to the right whatever. Like just... But then on the flip side of that, it was like, okay, his feelings are valid. Do I have the capabilities to work on what he's asking? Do I feel like it meets the life that I want to work on the things that he's asking me to work on? And does it meet the life that we've talked about. And yes, it does. It does meet the life that I want. It does meet the life that we've talked about that we want. And so, yes, you're tired. He is not asking for anything more than he shouldn't be asking for. So, let's regroup. And dive into the fact that he's right and that he is communicating his wants and his needs and accept those wants and those needs because you love and respect this person and he is your person. So are you going to be able to do what he asked? And, like, just that thought process. Yeah, so the conversation wasn't meant to be like, I need you to do all of this right now. I know. That's not how I took it. Good. And I believe as humans that we have, and we do this in our daily life anyways, we always have room for growth. We always have room for expansion. Yeah. We have to learn. We have to adapt. We have to do things. And so if if you can't have these conversations with your spouse or your significant other yeah. and them listen to your wants, your needs, whatever that is, I believe there's a huge failure point in the fact that you can't, if, if you can't communicate on that level, and you're more than welcome to say no, I want you to understand that. No, I'm not willing to do that. And just because you say no, I'm not willing to do that doesn't mean that this is done. It's just, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to work on this. Or it's going to take me time to work on. I'm willing to work on this, but it's going to take me some time. Okay. Obviously, it's going to take time. Yeah. I didn't feel it's like, going to take time to change anything. I don't I didn't feel like I needed to vocalize like hey it's going to take time because it's like an automatic understanding between yeah. the both of us. But like I really don't want people to come across like oh he's making demands of her and changing her and molding her whatever because they weren't there for the conversation. No. Um and a lot of our conversations don't happen here. No. They happen in bed. Uh, yeah. So I just feel, um, yeah, I just struggled with that. Yeah. So I don't want people to, to miscon whatever.
Yeah, I don't. I didn't want people to think like, oh, you know, he's changing you, he's molding you. You're, you're unsafe. No, and not at all. That's that's not the issue or the circumstance by any means. It's we just had a very simple conversation, and my feelings and emotions were just high. interesting so I yeah I think there's a lot of women who are in relationships who can understand that my where my feelings came from and how those feelings are it's like when you're at or any spouse I guess really can understand that where it's like even your wife's coming to you and it's like can you change this and it's like oh, okay great that's fixed here's the next thing here's the next thing here's the next thing here's the next like he just wears you out Just trying to figure out what's going on. Oh. Oh. She needs to be sleeping. Oh, it is Saturday. Saturday, Sunday. It's Saturday, Sunday. I'm a boyfriend. Like I'm just emotionally tired. Just emotionally tired. I don't know. Five. five? Yeah. Look at that. I'm surprised there's five people off at three thirty in the morning. Oh, well, some. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys hanging in there. Some people are just night people or night shift workers or whatever. Yeah. So for the people of TikTok, you almost said. Titty talk. <laughs> titty, titty, titty talk. Um, yeah. Are we at our hundred minutes? We are. What would you like to do? Continue. Sure. You know what I think you should do though is you should end this one because it's because this is going to be really hard to export, and we should probably you don't have to end TikTok, but you should end this and do a new recording, and then we can do cards because I don't mind. Yeah, leave TikTok on. You want to fade me out, baby? Yeah. Tell me when. Fade me out, baby. Okay. <laughs>